Thank God. Visions of you falling off the telephone pole. Any luck? I didn't even have to climb the pole. I just bypassed the old meter box. So, let's see if the old wiring works. Please, 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 please. Oh, yes. Voila. Yes, you are amazing. Now we can keep this laptop charged. We don't have to rely on these silly little candles anymore. Just have to make sure we cover up the windows. Well, log on as soon as you can, please. I've been going crazy not knowing what's happening. Zach's last message sounded like they were going to make a big push on Adam tonight, get him to incriminate Annie. Hope to God it works. Distract me. Say it's something. Help me get my mind off of Pine Valley. Okay. You think it's the thermostat that's burnt out, or the heating element is stopping this thing from working? I think it's not plugged in. Hmm. I missed Halloween. The boys were going dressed as Goofy and Donald Duck, and I missed it. I'm sure Zach took pictures. Yeah, but I still didn't get to go trick-or-treating with them. God, what I wouldn't give to play a few tricks on Annie. She's why I can't be with my boys. I cannot believe she gets away with the things she gets away with. She is... A real piece of work. Afraid to answer? More about your wild and crazy youth. What eventually stopped you from going over to the dark side? Well, my mom and I realized if we didn't eventually make peace, we would uh, scratch each other's eyes out. So I guess you could say I grew up. I risked a lot for Bianca. I mean, I still have my share of setbacks. But then I met Zach. And that's when my whole world changed. But my happy ending... Your happy ending will come. Soon, I hope. Yeah, but I mean, how much more does Zach and I have to go through? We've dealt with so much already. And now we have to we have all this, this crazy stuff with Annie. Why does she get peace and we don't? And why do people keep helping her? Ow! Are you okay? Uh, it just bit me pretty good. You see, Kendall, even the good guys get zapped now and then. Well, that's what happens when you mess with live wires. And in case you didn't catch my very clever metaphor, I'm not talking about the heater. I mean Annie. You never told me. Why did you ever hook up with that maniac anyway? You with me? You see this, Kendall? The wire was exposed. And that was pretty much me when Greenlee dumped me for Ryan. I had no insulation. I felt exposed and Annie just jumped right in and took advantage of me. She's damn good at taking advantage of people. She got Ryan to fall for her as well. Yep, she did. And Ryan's no fool. You still hate him for what happened with Greenlee, don't you? Hate takes up too much energy. I'm not fond of the guy. I'm sorry you got hurt. And I know that Greenlee was sorry as well. Yeah, I'm sure she was. It's just a shame she had to go like that. Yeah. It still seems so unreal, her not being here. I couldn't save Greenlee. And I tried to save Annie. Maybe I should have just gone to the dog pound and saved the puppy instead. Still nothing from Zach. Well, maybe, maybe that, that's a good sign. Maybe he's finally getting to Adam, and Adam is this close to admitting that Annie was the one who killed Stuart, so maybe this is good. You asked me to distract you, didn't you? Yes. I'm not doing a very good job, am I? I have something. I saw this in the cellar when I found the heater. 
this a wedding album of all the people that got married here. Really? All the couples that got married in this church. Cool. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, how sweet. Look at the two of them. So sweet. You think those two actually procreated? He looks like a bad cartoon. Okay, well, not everyone is a handsome, rugged, special ops event like you. Sure you could go <laughs> bear hunting with a stick. What? Are you? You're terrible. I think they're very cute. No, he looks scared out of his wits. Look at him. No, he. he well, a little bit. <laughs> well, thank God he didn't get a look at my wedding picture with Zach. He'd tear us to shreds. I can see Zach right now, standing at the altar, looking at you, grunting. <clears throat> yeah. I love you, Kendall. Hmm. I love you forever. I'm trying to say it's valid with a big scruff of hair on his face. <laughs> he never shaves, does he? Why is that? He's just such a handsome man. <laughs> I just want to go home.